People keep telling me you have to paint those containers. You're going to get algae. Well, let's see. I mean, if you want to paint them or cover them, that's fine. But me, I'm trying to find the cheapest, easiest way to do things. I want to grow a lot of plants with minimal effort. So we'll check inside of one of these. We'll get one on the outside where the sunshine's still getting to it. And add a decent sized plant. This one looks good here. You see it's a good looking plant. Let it go to seed. And we'll check the roots. Everybody likes nice white roots, but you can see these aren't really white. But it's a good plant. Lots of seeds. Each one of these little seed pods has about four seeds in it. That's a lot of seeds. Let's look inside. And yeah, as expected, there's algae. And at this point, a lot of you would clean that container, wash the roots with hydrogen peroxide, change your nutrients, but not me. I'm just going to put this guy right back in here and set him back where he was at. He was happy there. If you don't like algae, you can paint your jugs. Me, I'm just going to keep on growing. There's a few things I forgot to mention in my video this morning. It's about the plant, Shiso, or Perelia. Did you notice I had some kale hiding in here? You can grow plants close together because they're all in their own container. Be careful with this plant, it self-seeds really easy. You'll have volunteer plants popping up everywhere. And then those will drop seed. Shiso is not good for pets or livestock. So if you have them, look into it. And you don't need milk containers to grow it. You can use other containers. Like this downspout. Keep on growing. Alright, here's a bean sprout tip. And I bet you didn't know this. Now you've seen when I grow these, I keep them covered to keep the leaves yellow. And you can see the little ones that are popping out from under the cover are starting to turn green. Now I just don't care for that flavor, but there's nothing wrong with it. You can totally eat it like that. Now the leaves of the plant are edible. So you've got this amazing crop grown in seven days with no nutrients. If you want to grow it out a little bigger, you can dip it in some master blend at this point. I don't usually grow this much. I just wanted to show y'all what's possible. Here's about what I grow. Two trays. And when I'm done with those, I'll silk a couple more trays. But if you were in survival mode, or you just want a cheap and easy way to grow loads and loads of greens, the mung bean might be something to look into. So that's my tip just for you. Tomorrow, video is coming out on how to grow it and how to cook it in 10 different ways. Have an awesome day. Keep on growing.